Johnson City began in the 1850s as a village known as Johnson's Tank, where steam engines could take on water. As the little town began to grow and take on passengers and freight, it became known as Johnson's Depot. During the Civil War, the name was changed to Haynesville in honor of a Confederate senator, but was restored to its previous name after the war was over. In 1869, it was given a state charter and the new name of Johnson City after its first mayor, Henry Johnson. Johnson City became a boom town between 1870 and 1890 as a railroad hub. However, the depression of 1893 took its toll as many railway companies failed. East Tennessee State Normal School was established in 1911. It went through many changes over the years, including five different names. Finally, arriving at East Tennessee State University in 1963. During the 1920s, the city had earned a reputation for bootlegging and acquired itself the nickname of Little Chicago. There are many stories claiming that the town was one of several distribution centers for Al Capone during the Prohibition. According to local legend, Al Capone was a part-time resident of Montrose Court. By 1930, Johnson City had become the fifth largest city in Tennessee. William Bean built a cabin at Boone's Creek not far from here in the 1760s. And in the 1780s, Colonel John Tipton had a farm just outside the present day city. Unfortunately, these historic sites were closed on my visit.
thanks for joining me for a trip through historic Johnson City, Tennessee. I appreciate you watching, and I will see you next time.